Earlier in the program, Kristen Oaks took us to Louisville, Kentucky to tell us about one of the largest junior livestock shows in the world. After a very long car ride, she is back and she now joins us. And Kristen, after 27 years of covering farm news, I really find it difficult to tell one good animal at some of these shows from another. But I know you did it for many, many years and you're going to enlighten us. Well, you know, there's no better place to learn than the National Junior Angus Show because it is essentially the Super Bowl of cattle shows. But I'm sure most people understand that a cow is a cow, but any cattle producer will tell you that that's not necessarily the case. In a nutshell, judging cattle all boils down to one thing, money. Which animal will cost you the least amount of money to raise and in turn produce the most profit for your pocketbook. Not all show cows are created equal. Show cattle are divided into two different groups, market and breeding. Market animals will end up on your dinner plate after the show, but breeding animals must go on to produce offspring. So judges look for cattle with these traits. The first is good feet and leg structure. Cattle are ruminants, so they must graze for food. It's important they can walk and move with ease. If a heifer can't walk, she can't eat. Judges also evaluate a calf's muscle size and shape. In beef animals, more muscle equals more meat. A good calf should be wide-based from behind and have a thick, straight top line. Most of your steaks come from that area. Lastly, judges select cattle with a large body capacity and rib shape. This is especially important in females. A larger rib cage means she has more room for food and more importantly, more space for her unborn calf. These are just a few of the basics judges look for in a good cow. In the show ring, cattle are judged from the tip of their nose all the way to the end of their tail and everything in between. Whether these young showmen take home a grand champion banner or last place, they're learning what it takes to produce a safe and efficient food source for the world. So in my book, I guess that makes them all winners. Well, now it's time for Twilight Trivia. Last week's question was, which holiday weekend is the most popular for grilling and barbecuing? And the answer is B, the 4th of July. For this week's trivia, where was the first National Junior Angus show held? Was it A, Denver, Colorado, B, Des Moines, Iowa, or C, Columbia? Missouri. Think you know the answer? Well, all you need to do is head on over to our website, twilatv.org, choose the correct answer, and we'll send one winner a Twila gift pack. Now, still to come on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. I'm Neil Malonsaw. Stock up on steaks right now because the price for beef is going up. Coming up on the bottom line, find out why. <laughs> 